Wow, he's so majestic. He's so gigantic. Please don't step on a Marty. Welcome to the flip side and welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution where we are really close to getting 100% T-Rex genome just like we were at the end of the last episode. Didn't play without you guys at all. Really didn't though because I just kind of let it run on its own. I did go and buy more. I did send the people out more to get more T-Rex DNA because I valued their family's lives and if I didn't get it soon then I was going to kill them all. So what we also have is 1.36 Wow, where did all that come from? Okay, I have no idea. I'm not going to question it, though. You don't question a good thing. What did they say? They don't look look a, look a gifted horse in the mouth. Something like that. Um, which I don't know why anyone would look into a horse's mouth ever. Have you seen those things? They're big and they stink. All right, so let's just put another power station. Perfectly align it. Wow, I actually just perfectly aligned it. And then we're going to boosh. <laughs> And check it out, baby. We're just gonna boop right there. Look at that. So we're just gonna add to the existing power infrastructure of the of the island, which is just that's really what how the smart people do it. And why are these paths ugly? Excuse me, I'm not okay with this. Okay, we will not have ugly paths in my park. Only the best, spare no expense. Obviously, that is <laughs> why I'm always in debt. Okay, so now we can go in the research center, which, okay, so I'm just going to admit this to everyone right here. Uh, well, no pow! Oh, yeah, it's not finished building yet. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to wait for that to happen. But I did some research off <coughs> off camera. All right, so I would like a Brachiosaurus and, uh, and, uh, and, and a Brachiosaurus, please. Okay, so what I did is I did some research off camera, and what I did actually was just... I got all the viruses. I got all the vaccines. Just wanted to make sure we were up to date. Okay, so that we can va vaccinize our dinosaurs because we don't want any more outbreaks to happen that we can't control. Okay, that really hasn't happened yet. And I think it's a good goal to continue to not let that happen ever. But we, I really want to research this outage, oh, outage protection. I thought that was the improved output. I don't want that crap. I don't know outage protection. I ain't afraid. Okay, I really want to make a T-Rex. I really want to do this. I'm afraid that they're going to be <laughs> really expensive, though. Um, okay, so it only costs $1.964 million. Are you kidding me? I'm never going to have that kind of money. Come on. <sighs> what happens if we modify it? <laughs> well, I can make it change colors. Okay, I like the Alpine. Oh, now it's 2.5 million. Well, you know what? It's, it's Leave me alone, Mom. Okay, want to do lifespan, definitely. Because if we're going to be paying $9 million for a t what? It's going up so much. Okay, hold on. The first one's not going to be modded. <laughs> it can't be because if we fully mod it out, it's going to be like $10 million, which is absurd. Okay, so we're just going to save up 1.964 million. Oh, my goodness. Something we could do. We have a contract down at the bottom to cover the island 70% with storm defense stations, which seems a little odd because I'm going to be honest, it didn't really seem like a real stormy place over here. It's been beautiful weather ever since we arrived. Oh, look at this. I could put this right back here, only there was not the stupid power line. That's okay. That's okay. We're just going to put it here instead. It makes more sense here. All right. Let's just add a little bit of connectivity. Oh, man. So last episode, I promised everybody. I said, no matter what, we are making a T-Rex next episode. I may have said that. But you know what? Now that I don't think we're going to be getting a T-Rex, I think I'm going to go cut that out. <laughs> because I don't want to be considered a liar. Okay, I didn't know it was going to be $2 million. That's not my fault. That's the designers of this game's fault. So if anything, they're the liars. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but if you don't think about it and you just take what I'm saying as truth, then it makes perfect sense. One more storm defense station because uh, entertainment is going to give me money for doing this. And there better be at least one storm on this island. I may regret saying that, but I built these now, so I better at least get my money's worth. 
All right, I got my contract complete. Awesome, that's so exciting. Oh my goodness. And then we've got two expedition teams. Let's just send them both out. Let's just send them both out. There we go. And then let's go over here. Let's research our, our new friend. Oh my goodness. Uh, and then we get to... Oh, is that a Diplodocus? Pretty sure. No, never mind. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm going to go somewhere with a, with a thing that I'm about to say. And then it just never really happens. It actually happens to me quite often. I just try to play it off like nothing happened. Like I'll be... I'll start a sentence like, Did you know that... And then I'll just like trail off and stare at something and then I'll point to it. And then when people turn to look at it, I run. It's typically how I handle that. And it usually works pretty good unless they're faster than me. But that <laughs> hardly ever happens because I'm basically a cheetah. Or at least that's what people call me when I'm playing Monopoly. <laughs> okay. Oh, Marty! Marty, no! No, save him! No, he's Marty too! Why did I give you all these resilience? Gene mod splicers. If you're just gonna get sick, maybe I should sell you or just kill you. You're clearly defective. Well, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, you better just be being friendly. If you if you run at that fence, we're gonna have an issue, Marty, too. Walk away from it right now. I'll electrify it. I'll do it. I'm not afraid of you. What can we do in the meantime? Oh, look, look at what I did. I forgot about this. I researched a bowling alley. Not sure why I had to do research for Bowling Alley. I'm pretty sure those have been things for like a long time in history, but now I I can have one also. So we're just gonna we're just gonna put it right. Boom! Oh yes. That is gonna be a beautiful thing. And then right when people come into the park, they can go bowling. Because that's why they came to Jurassic Park World theme park, Disneyland. So they can go bowling. But it'll be awesome. We'll make the bowling. What have you done? My wife just came in and knocked everything off of the table. But uh, we'll make all the bowling balls look like dinosaur eggs. That'll be awesome. So I sent them out to bring me back. I keep sending them to the Diplodocus thing. No wonder I'm not getting any Brachiosaurus back. I'm an, I'm an idiot. I'm a dumb dumb. Keep guest count above 800. That. Why am I strong? I should probably add more dinosaurs. <laughs> That's why. People come here, I guess. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I feel like I'm being pressured right now, and I don't like it, okay? I work best when no one expects anything from me, ever. That's how I prefer to work, actually. Okay, so I'm going to change this little baby fence into a little bit more of a, a, like a like an adolescent fence, okay? So we can handle some slightly larger dinos, <laughs> and I don't have to, like, just keep the helicopter on standby. Even though I'm probably going to have to do that anyways. Um, just to get people excited, should I put a raptor in the... Or, no, because then all the Mart Martys will die. But maybe that would be good for business. Let's see. Hold on. Maybe maybe we... I want a T-Rex, man. So bad. Why are you so expensive? Oh, I only have $88,000 now. I just spent all... What can we put in here that is exciting and new? I don't have, I don't have a Taurosaurus. Okay, we could do that. We're not going to do a Chungakingasaur. <laughs> I don't think that's how you say that, but uh, he broke out like 15 times in my other park in that episode that I lost, so we're just going to pretend like he doesn't exist because that's what I do with all my problems, and they usually go away. Look at the... Wow, look at that. Uh, oh, we could do a Brachiosaurus, though. Let's do that. Okay, can we... <laughs> oh, it's $601,000. Okay, so we're not going to do that unless... Oh, unless, unless they bring me back something expensive. Oh, like that. We just made $360,000 like in two seconds. That's the best way to make money. You just find something in the dirt. That would be wonderful. If you could find money in the dirt, I'd probably just dig all the time. Man, miners back in the day, like during the gold rush, they had a good life. They didn't have to work. They just found money by digging for it for hours and days and weeks. Man, what a... What an easy life. A bunch of chumps they were. Okay, I would like a Brachiosaurus, but I have a feeling he's going to need a tall feeder. Because I don't think he's going to be able to bend all the way down to get to that little bush. Maybe, but he would have to be flexible, and I don't think I have a flexible gene modifier. So I'm going to put him right here. Oh, I'm going to put the feeder right here so that the people in this viewing gallery will be like eye level with it. Oh, I am so smart. It's crazy. I should just... I should actually take all these videos down 
and then sell them as a comprehensive guide to how to play this game. Successfully incubate a small herbivore? I mean, I guess I'll hold on to that. How do I only have $76,000 again? <laughs> Where did my money go? Was it with the feeder? Is the feeder that expensive? How much did I just spend on that? I spent $300,000 on that stupid tree? Why didn't I just plant one? I would have waited. Ugh. Where is my other $500,000 I need for my Brachiosaurus? <laughs> or where's my other $1.8 million that I need for my T-Rex? Because I promised the people a T-Rex, and they're <clears throat> probably not going to get one. But does that make me a liar? No, uh, I think we went over this already, so I don't feel like doing it again. Okay, so if I just I just want the bracket ninety thousand dollars every time I sent them out for a brachiosaurus and no one told me? I've been spending all this money sending them out to get more brachiosaurus that I can't make a brachiosaurus. Is that good business? I don't know. I didn't go to business school, but it doesn't seem like it. Ooh. I bet they get great signal. That is a big satellite dish right next to a satellite dish tower. It's wonderful. Okay, we got enough money. Let's go back in. Oh, man, it's really hard to kind of like stall in these little moments where <laughs> we're doing literally nothing. Okay, let's check out the bowling alley. Can we go in and play? Selling. Ooh, we. well, why would we sell three pin bowling? That's lame. Ten pins. And each game will cost $97. Okay, $40. $40 and we'll have two staff. That's right. Making $72 a minute. That's... Not a lot. But you know what? It's better than zero dollars a minute, okay? So maybe you should count your blessings and stop complaining about your life when it's really not as bad as it could be, okay? There are people that have never bowled, ever. So you should just be grateful for the fact that you get to bowl. You may just be terrible at it, like I am, but at, at least you, you've done it. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Successfully incubate a small herbivore. All right, I'm going to do that. A small... Where's a Marty? Bring me a Marty. 50,000. That's like all my money. Okay, I'm going to do it. Okay, yep. All right. I could have taken all the mods off of him, but then he would be a loser because all the other Martys have mods. And I don't want him to... I don't want him to stand out or feel different. I'd rather everyone be exactly like each other so there's no uniqueness and then nobody will feel different and everyone will be happy. I'm... Pretty sure that may or may not have been Hitler's reasoning, actually. So I take all that back. I wish everyone was different and no one was the same as anybody. There's no in between. It's gotta be one or the other. Oh, all right. Let's let's release Marty Four. I just got one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. All right. Hey, Marty Four, how's it going? How's it going? You know, people in the comments are just demanding. Oh, what are you looking at me for? People really love Martys. Okay. And I I hear you guys. That's why in my other park, I have like 47 Martins. <laughs> At some point, we'll do something with them. Or we won't. It's really no saying. Why can I not rename? There we go. ma t full. So question, post in the comment the answer. If I put a Brachiosaurus in that facility there, in that little enclosure, will it break out? Or Sarah was thinking maybe it would just step over the fence. I don't, I don't think it can do that. I'm going to electrify it. So maybe that will make it not want to. So post that in the comments for me not to read in time because I'm just going to do it regardless this episode. And it will be many days before I read any of your comments. So don't waste your time, actually. I take all that back. I'm sorry. Sorry I've wasted your time with this conversation in this episode because I feel like nothing's happened because I keep getting money and spending it instantly. Hey, buddy. How you doing? What are you looking for under the bush? Are you looking under the bush? You're just getting the leaves in the back. Oh, that's a good idea. They always put the good leaves in the back. They put all the expired stuff up front. You don't want the expired leaves. Trust me, those have ants on them, and you're an herbivore, so you wouldn't want that meat. It would kill you, I think. I'm not sure. Are herbivores like vegetarians? Are they like eat plants by choice, or are they like if they eat meat, they die? Because I think those are vegans. I'm not sure, though. I don't actually know a vegan. I'm not convinced that they actually exist yet. I think they could be a myth. Because who wouldn't want to eat meat or wear fur coats? I remember a time when we had lots of money. That was a good time. You guys remember that time? Feels like a really long time ago, though. But, you know, patience is everything. So if we just sat here for an hour, we would have tons of money. And you know what? We, I'm probably just going to do that after this episode. But in the meantime, 
we're just going to have to fiddle fart around and try to do something interesting instead of just flying back and forth for across the island, which I've done like 15 times trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I wish I could put a dinosaur in the river and then op open it up for swimmers. <laughs> would not last long, I don't think, unless I kept it real quiet. It was like a real conspiracy. That would be good. Or if I only put people, mute people in the water so that they couldn't scream. That would be a good idea also, I think. Can mute people scream? Can they just not talk? I don't know. I've never met a mute person. I've never spoken with one at least. You know, I think they may be a myth, actually. Oh, we've got a guest count over 800. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh. Edmonds, you better be playing nice. Oh, you guys are like perfectly mirror images of each other. That is brilliant. But uh, we have guest count over 800. I guess we've had it for two minutes now because we're at a minute 53, a minute 52, a minute 51. 864 guests. Our facility rating just went down. That's stupid. Maybe I should make a monorail. Maybe I should save money to get a cool dinosaur. How about that, idiot? Okay, well, you know what? Sometimes my inner dialogues can get very vicious, which is something that my therapist has told me that I should work on. But my therapist is also just a figment of my imagination, and so I killed her when she told me that. So that, I mean, I don't, I don't, we don't speak anymore unless I go visit her at her grave. But my mind is, you know, it's a really busy place. I don't have, I don't have time to go visit the graves of some of my imaginary friends <laughs> please okay and i'm not gonna buy them flowers that's for sure because i'm trying to save for a brachiosaurus <sighs> i'm brachiosaurus <laughs> uh, i should make cards like jurassic world dinosaur themed like get well soon cards or apology cards or what are we even doing with our lives? We are just waiting. This is a waiting simulator and I'm running out of clever banter. My life is so hard. Just sit here and I play this game and I have to be funny. My wife is literally holding a gun to my head and every time I'm not funny, she like loads another bullet and she's playing Russian roulette over there. Every time I say a bad joke, she, just, she pulls the trigger and I'm hearing little clicks and it's really stressing me out, Sarah. All right, she's not actually doing that. She's actually just on her phone. I don't know what she's doing. What are you doing, Sarah? You're playing a Jurassic World game on your phone while I'm playing a real life Jurassic World? Oh, she's murdering dinosaurs. That's cool. That's what I do with my parks normally. <sighs> I should I should really stop sending my fossil teams out. Because every time I send them out, I lose tons of... But the higher my Brachiosaurus genome... The less chance that he's just going to keel over and die as he walks out. Are you kidding me? The 800 guest count timer just restarted. Who's the one person who left? I'm going to track him down. Wait, it stopped again. Stop leaving. What if I close the park? If I close the park, like just locked the doors so no one could leave. Why are you guys leaving? I've got bowling. There's bowling. There's 10 pin bowling. I know you guys want more dinosaurs, but I don't have any money. If you guys want to all group together, all how many people are in here? There's 828 people in here. If we all just pull together $2 million between the 800 of us, don't include me. I don't have any money. But if you 800 people collect $200, I'll give you a T-Rex. And then you can be eaten by him because my fence isn't strong enough. But at least you'll see something awesome on your way out. You'll get your money's worth because nowhere else in the world would you be able to get eaten by a T-Rex by a T-Rex but from on my park that's gonna be on my brochure i think come to the one place you can get eaten by a tyrannosaurus rex novelty ladies and gentlemen it's the currency of the new world i think they said that in pirates of the caribbean i'm not sure i definitely didn't just come up with that because i'm not nearly clever enough why is it more expensive seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars now what is my brachiosaurus dna on interest or something like that why is that going up Wait, does the more complete of a genome you have mean that the that the dino that the dinosaurs more monies? Oh, I have seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars. As soon as I send out a team, I won't. So maybe I should wait. Nah, let's just do it. I just declined a contract. I don't even know what it was for. I'm sorry. That security guy just came to my door and I just shut it instantly, right in his stupid face. George, I'm really sorry. What would you like? Use the ranger team's camera and take a photograph that includes at least three dinosaurs that I don't even have. That was a stupid suggestion. I'm glad I slammed the door on your face. All right, I'm going to make a Brachiosaurus. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right now while I still have money. <laughs> I've done it. 
Okay, and he's not going to die because 84% viability plus 20% magic means that he's not going to die. I'm pretty sure. I'm not a mathematician, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's what it means. And then there's no way I'm going to have guests that are less than 800 at a time in the park. This park sucks, <laughs> actually. You know, just kind of viewing it. It's really empty. But, you know, we were losing a million dollars. We were a million dollars in debt when I got here. I've turned this place around. I've run it back into the dirt, but we have we were turn, turn, in the midst of turning around when we tripped and ate a mouthful of dirt. But we're making a Brachiosaurus. You can't put a price tag on that. Hey, whoa, hey, who's yelling? <laughs> who's yelling at me? I love you guys. I'm on your side. I could have sold you, Edmund. You better not be yelling at me. All right, well, while we wait, let's just, let's just spend the extra money that we just got. Because <laughs> why would we save it? That's stupid. Don't listen to your parents, kids. Saving is never the option. Spend it all now. Instant gratification. <laughs> oh, Sarah just hit me. All right, I take it back. I take it back. Save all your money. Don't spend anything. If you buy anything at all, you should feel terrible about yourself. There's no in-between. It's one, one extreme or the other, okay? Pick one and choose your grave and then sleep in it. Or make your bed and sleep in it. Not your grave. That's... That's weird. 86%... We have $158,000. Look at how fast the money's going up. We must have at least 800 people in the park. What do you think? It... It would not appear that... We have 764. Poor satisfaction? What? Food rating? Drink rating? Fun rate? Oh. They hate me. They think I'm the worst. You know what? I, I know something that will instantly make them happier. I learned this in the other park that I played around and fiddle farted in for like an hour and a half. Why is this obstructed? Because there's people on it? It's, it's a path, man. Uh, what? That's stupid. That's stupid. I will delete you, building. If you don't get out of my way. What is it? What is it? It's a gift shop? How how much are gift shops to buy? 130000 so I'm only taking a $40,000 bath. See you. All right, we're going to put it over here instead so that I can build a wider path because people don't like walking so close to each other. I've been to Disneyland, and whenever you have to be near other people, it's the worst. So this should this will, this will make them happy. Okay, so now let's replace. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. And the storm defense station towers in the way. I should have just started with the wider paths because now it looks stupid. This is stupid. Or <laughs> we just build a second path. <laughs> I have built a masterpiece. That looks even worse somehow, actually, now that I'm looking at it. No, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's just cover it in trees. Those are shrubs. Where are trees? That's right. I don't want to look at it. Okay, that, that I've just, I've ruined this park. <laughs> I'm so sorry. To every person wasting their time watching me. I feel like I owe you an apology. All of you. Even though, you know, I, I feel justified in my actions. And if you don't like it, you can leave. Oh, man. My Brachiosaurus is almost done and the weather's sad. I don't want the first thing he experiences in life to be gloom and doom. I'm going to not release him until it's sunny. And you know what? If you don't like it, you could be like the rest of the people in my park and just walk in and walk out. <laughs> I think they're going to be so excited to see a Brachiosaurus. Or they're going to be excited for about five seconds and then they're going to get a terrible neck cramp from looking up at him. And then they're going to be upset. Oh, I'm so excited. Come out. Oh, man. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? He's just walking out. He's like, oh, man. Look at it, all of the trees. <laughs> I don't think I did that voice right, but I don't care. Shut up, Jim. He is gigantic. <laughs> he is so big. Wow, he's so majestic. He's so gigantic. Please don't step on a Marty. That would be really unfortunate. Chiman. Okay, I want to name him. This one's going to be Tim. And then I'll make his friend. He wants more trees and more Brachiosaurus's peas. Unbelievable. Tree it up. Oh, my goodness. I guess I can't be surprised that he really wants all of the trees. <laughs> I am never going to let that die. How's it going? But what? More trees? 
<laughs> oh man, he really does love the trees. I'm trying to put the trees in an area though where it's not gonna obscure the dinosaurs completely. Like in the corners where we don't have viewing areas. There's a lot of trees in this stupid park now. Why is he not being happy with this? Why, why are you being grumpy? Tim, I gotta delete the trees around your feeding area or else no one's gonna be able to see you. More trees. Cause he loves the trees more than he loves J J Jim. What was it? What was his name? <laughs> Cause Jim's an idiot, but the tree is yummy. Yeah. I don't know if you guys could tell, you could 100% tell, but that was completely improvised along with every other one of our dumps. <laughs> He's still not happy. This is not good. We have, L Marty, Marty, you cannot reach the, that food. What do you even, you're gonna get stepped on, man. Don't go over there. He wants more trees, but I don't have a place for more trees or else the people will not be able to see him. I almost just raised the ground over here, which would have been a huge mistake. Oh gosh, there's so many trees in this stupid place. You can't be so picky, man. Okay, that's there, there's a lot of, great. I can't even see anything anymore. I know, what. you know what, I'm gonna sell you. No, I'm not, I can't do that already. Even though I kinda want to, cause I feel like you're being kind of a punk. But you should be pretty happy now, right? Not yet. <laughs> I feel like the, the, Issue is just the enclosure is not big enough for him. Well, the world ain't big enough for all of us, Tim. Especially you, who's like 27 stories tall. That's not my fault. Maybe you should have been born shorter. Release the di di Dionicus with the hypophysical but. Sorry, if I can't pronounce your contract, I have to deny it. That's just a rule that I keep. Let's build Jim. We're gonna end with Jim and Tim. Oh man, this is so good. I've completed another science thing. I told you if we just got him, we'd have... Where are my dinosaurs? <laughs> I can't even see them anymore. There's so many trees. Dinosaur visibility is at 80%. Okay, all right. Then maybe they can see them through the trees somehow. If I could just get a stupid gyro ball, then they could go in and see all the dinosaurs. But making Jim could proved to be a mistake because well then i'm gonna have two unhappy very large dangerous dinosaurs but you know what what's life without a little risk let's just resupply all of them i don't even know where the other feeders are anymore wait is it just those two that's it i only have two feeders in this thing i should probably put another one wow there are so many trees <laughs> this is stupid <laughs> all right but are you happy like overall L oh, look, his forest is going up. He wants forest and grasslands? He wants his cake and he wants to eat it. Also, <laughs> I think that's... I'm going to put a T-Rex in there and kill all you guys next episode. Because guess what? I know I've been talking a lot of talk about the whole T-Rex thing, but eventually we're going to have a T-Rex and it's going to be a monumentous occasion. Okay, we are going to celebrate with all of our friends. And by that, I mean, I'm just going to make a T-Rex and I'll say, yippee pretty much <laughs> me celebrating with all my friends because I don't have any friends. I mean, I've got Sarah, so she's she's pretty good, I guess. And then I got Monty, but I don't I mean, he's... I mean, come on. <laughs> my only true friends are the imaginary friends that live in my graveyard. Ow! <laughs> Sarah keeps hitting me. All right, what if we put some more trees right in front of the viewing area? You're right, that's a bad idea. I'm not going to do that. My enclosure is like non existent I want to drive around in it. Oh, wow, this is like a jungle. I'm stuck. I I can't move. Oh, great. Well, I'll just take a picture. Oh, good. <laughs> this is going to be such a good picture. Oh. Whoa, oh, hey, whoa. Someone yelling? Why is... I'm out of here. I'm just going to let that ranger team die in there. Where is Tim? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Why is his comfort so low? Tim, no! Oh gosh, it keeps like unclicking me from him. Oh no, I feel like he's coming over the fence to break it. Tim, Tim, you stop yourself right now. You ask yourself, is this really the life you want to live? A uh, life of a criminal? I don't think you want to. Tim, hey, Tim, you back away. You, hey, hey, I will put you to sleep, young man. I will do it. 
Okay, I don't know how many tranquilizer darts you can take, but guess what? I'll send 19 into you. Oh, oh no, we, we've got a power outage. Uh, okay, hey guys, can you come fix the power? Oh, that's all. What, you're just gonna hit the fence once and walk away? You are a spoiled brat, mister. You are a little monster. Okay, he wants more trees. He wants more trees. Let's just let's just give him more trees real quick, okay? I guess the, the, the squeaky brachiosaurus gets the grease. Or maybe I'll just delete all your trees and we'll see how you like it then, huh, punk? Yeah. No, no, there's nowhere to hide your stupid little attitude. Okay, what I'm actually, I'm actually doing him a favor right now. Okay, I'm yelling at him just so that he feels bad about his actions, but I'm actually doing him a favor. Because I'm going to expand this way and we're just going to fill it with trees. <laughs> uh, to re uh oh oh i just just need a i'm completely out of money oh oh crap oh crap oh no i've just i've just opened up the whole place for all the dinosaurs to escape okay let's just connect quickly quickly okay we have fixed it okay no need to panic and tim's asleep Okay, good. <laughs> oh, no. That looks so uncomfortable. All right. So while Tim is sleeping, we are just going to do something that I may regret, which is just completely cover this side of the enclosure in trees. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll put some trees around the edges. Good. And then we'll also cover it in shrub. I can't. I can't do shrubs and trees in the same area. That's not good. Okay, so more grasslands. All right. So, guys, now... Now you've got like this whole tree area you can hang out in, okay? And you've also got the grasslands over here. So you guys can not try to break my very expensive fence again, please. Perfect, I love it, I love it. And if they don't love it, <coughs> then I'll sell them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey buddy. Oh man, they have gotten rid of so many trees. Does someone want to say, shut up, Jim? <laughs> shut up, Jim! I'll do it. I didn't hear any of you guys saying it. All right. Awesome. How's it? BRC002. That's not his name. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's show Let's show him some love. Oh, hey, buddy. You are just the cutest. You are just the cutest. I love you. Uh, Jim. He wants more gra- Okay, hold on. His little bars are going up. Will it go up more? The closer he is to trees. Oh, 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 it's going up. It's going up. This is good. This is good. Forest. Forest. Come on. Let's get. Come on. Look at the trees. There's so many trees. Jim, and if you don't like it, you can shut up. <laughs> shut up, Jim. That's so funny. The, the research center. The research center is in power because I have to power the stupid fronts. That's fine. That's fine. You know what? You know what? Let's just, let's just go improved output 1.0. Okay, perfect. What are the odds that we're going to have a power outage again right after we just had one? Probably pretty low. Okay. How you doing, Jim? You're not happy with life either. What is wrong with you guys? Seriously. And I'm about to wake up your friend just so you guys can have an attitude together? I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe I should have sold him into captivity just to treat him some manners. Teach him manners. What did I say? I put some more trees in here, though, for you, Jim. And then... You just sit there, you eat your food, your comfort's at 81%. That's not great. That's actually bad. I'm not sure how I feel about this. But you know what? I'm going to figure this out next episode because I'm real sick of you holding my... What are you looking at me for? Shut up, Jim! Okay, that's the last time I'm doing that joke this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and are enjoying the series. Are you enjoying the series, Sarah? She said yes. All right, Tim. Oh, you better change your attitude real quick. I added trees and grassland. I don't understand what you want from me, Tim. Ugh. Should have listened to Jim. You are a bad friend. Don't yell at the little guys. They're little. They can't help it. I put them in here. Be mad at me. He's gonna, oh, his comfort's going down. Okay, you know what, I'm done. I'm done for the day, because guess what? He's looking at this fence, he's gonna be like, I'm gonna kick it. Well, you know what, go ahead and kick it. See if I care, you'll get zapped, and then you'll change your mind, because you're a wuss. 
Okay, I'm going to stop antagonizing him. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I will see you all on the flip side. Oh, quite at least 75% of the timbers of under the... Yes! Goodbye. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. Everyone, bear, calm down! <laughs>